السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Uh, this is Abdullah uh, Shambiri from uh, King Abdulaziz University. Uh, and today I will be uh, presenting about a type uh, or a technique used uh, in the MRI uh, imaging called uh, a face contrast angiography. Uh, my agenda for the presentation is uh, we will have a small introduction about the project purpose and uh, about the angiography uh, in general. Uh, then we will talk about the main uh, topic, which is the face contrast angiography. Then we were, then I will conclude the presentation with a small discussion about the face contrast uh, angiography. Uh, as required from us, the biomedical engineers, uh, to learn and keep up with the theory uh, and operation and the application uh, of the field of medical imaging devices and machines. And as a project for this course, uh, the medical imaging, uh, a topic was assigned to each student to make a research uh, of that topic and to also present it to the rest of the class. First, let's have an idea about the uh, angiography. The angiography is a medical imaging technique that is used to visualize the inside or lumen of blood vessels and organs of the body with particular interest in the arteries, veins, and the heart uh, chambers. Moving to the main topic, which is the face contrast uh, angiography. Face contrast angiography is one of the flowing imaging techniques uh, that is mostly used for brain uh, angiographic studies. And one of the most neurologic uh, magnetic resonance uh, imaging techniques, techniques that focuses on visualizing the, vis the vessels with the uh, active blood flow. Uh, this technique is done by applying uh, a bipolar magnetic field gradient pulse uh, and this bipolar gradient pulse is one uh, in which the gradient uh, is turned on in one direction for a period of time, then turned on in the opposite direction for an equivalent uh, amount of time. Uh, also, uh, this uh, bipolar gradient pulse has two types, which are the positive bipolar gradient pulse and the negative bipolar uh, gradient. Um, uh, and this bipolar gradient pulse has no effect uh, on stationary spins, but spins which have a velocity component in the direction of the gradient will be affected by the bipolar gradient pulse. Uh, in which means if the bipolar gradient pulse is placed uh, in one of the imaging sequences along with the other uh, gradient, it will not affect the image because all we have done is adding a phase, uh, a phase shift to the moving spins. But when, the, when two imaging sequences are performed with the first sequence involving the positive bipolar uh, gradient pulse and the other is, invol uh, is involving the negative bipolar gradient pulse, then the raw data from the two pulses is subtracted and the signal from stationary spins are canceled out, as shown here in the figure. And the flowing blood will be added uh, uh, and shown in the image. Uh, and this is uh, about how the phase contrast uh, angiography uh, is done. And in conclusion, the acquired data uh, from the phase angiography technique uh, can be displayed in several ways, such as uh, on the face uh, images with one direction assigned uh, as a white signal and the opposite direction uh, assigned as a black signal. Or, uh, as in the magnitude images, where, which are uh, uh, directionally uh, intensive images, like uh, the power doubler uh, ultrasound uh, images. Uh, and it's, uh, it is also worth uh, mentioning that uh, although the phase contrast uh, angiography is most commonly used in the head uh, and neck, but it still can be performed uh, anywhere in the body. And uh, that concludes my presentation. Uh, thank you for listening. And uh, I hope uh, it was uh, a valuable uh, uh, presentation. Thank you.